I'm Keith Williams, and I'd like to welcome you to the final wager. The first season was such a success that I'm back with a few minor tweaks. First, I'm not going to be doing a video every night. I'll do them when I can, and I'll probably have a summary at the end of every week where I look at maybe one or two particularly naughty situations, but I will do the written analyses on the website. You're going to see a lot of interviews, you're going to see some behind the scenes footage perhaps of uh, certain tournaments that might be taping in the near future. And there's also this guy. That's seven days worth of peach fuzz right there. And it looks disgusting. It's going to come off as soon as I stop taping this. Well, without further ado, let's get things kicked off. Monday, September 15th, 2014. We have a very straightforward situation to kick off Season 2. We have Elizabeth in the lead with 13,400, our defending champion Winston in second with just over half of her total, and Steve in third with 6,000. Now, the other day I bought 17 or 18 different colored markers. I'm going to use them to good effect. I will walk very deliberately through my rules. Start with first and second, Elizabeth and Winston. If Winston doubles up, he's going to have 14,000. So to cover that, Elizabeth's going to need to wager 600. And if she gets it wrong with that wager, and I'll put this in red, She's going to be left with 12,800. That's more than Winston has right now. He needs to get it right to have a chance. So he might as well just wager everything. And you'll see also that Steve can only get up to 12,000, so he cannot catch Elizabeth, provided that she wagers appropriately. Steve, for his part, will want to wager so as not to fall below Winston if they both miss, and let's say Winston makes the bare minimum he can, which would be to get to 12,800, that's 5,800. So if he gets it wrong with that wager, he will be left with 1,200. Steve needs to stay above that. And remember, if there's a tie between second and third, the second place prize money, the $2,000, goes to the player who led going into final jeopardy. So. If Winston and Steve were tied 1200 Winston would take $2,000 and Steve would take $1,000. So he needs to stay above this total. That means he can wager at most $4,800 minus $1, $4,799. And normally I would say you should wager at least 1001 to get above Winston, but Winston has no reason not to wager big. As for how our players actually did, I thought this was a tricky clue and it looks like our players agreed. Steve missed and wagered 5,000, a little bit too much. Winston also missed, wagered everything but $2. I don't like that wager, and you can see why, because Elizabeth got it wrong and wagered 600. So, had both Elizabeth and Winston got it right, Winston would have lost by that $2. You don't want to do that. But, an interesting start to the season. Already we have a player wagering for the tie. Will it happen tomorrow? Find out on the final wager. We'll see you then.